All right, hopefully uh, you guys have followed some of the direction or at least have a, a Cali machine, a clone Cali machine with a different uh, Mac address and IP address, uh, a Windows server or just a Windows machine. All these are virtual machines. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna ping each other and also learn how to use MMAP. So, just gonna go ahead and log into each one of them. And then once you're logged into each one of them, um, what we're gonna do is open terminal and we're gonna do a IP space A or IF config on the Linux machine. We're just trying to get the IP address, make sure they're different. This one will be IP A and IF config. Either one works. And then on the Windows machine, we want to look for CMD or the command prompt. And in the command prompt, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, IP config to get the IP address for that. And this one's uh, 10.0.2.15. Uh, <clears throat> the clone Linux one is uh, 10.0.2.20. And the main Kali Linux is 10.0.2.25. So we got three different ones. And what we're gonna do is um, try to ping each one of them. Uh, make sure they're connected, they're in the same network. Um, when we started, we created a network, a NAT network, and then a NAT network uh, with a specific IP address uh, range, which is the 10 range. Uh, and these three are isolated to that one uh, network. So in this case, I'm gonna try to ping this main IP address, uh, Kali Linux, to the other one over here, which is the uh, 2.20 one. So, it's, so we're gonna try to ping 10.0.2.20 and we're successful you get some ping there uh, we're going to ping from the clone one the clone Kali over to the main Kali one which is 10.2 uh, sorry 10.0.2 ping 10.0.2.25 and the pings are working there. Now if we try to ping the Windows machine, ping 10.0.2.15, it's not gonna work. Uh, the reason why is uh, Windows has uh, the ICMP ping um, unable or disable. So we need to turn that on so these three can ping each other, but if you use a Windows to ping the Linux, which is 10. The main Linux would be 10.0.2.25. Try that again. Ping And uh, it's unreachable. Uh, it's actually not on that network. So we go to network, uh, to devices, network settings. And it's actually just a NAT. We actually created a NAT network here. And we're gonna apply the changes here. Give it a few seconds. Uh, and we can try to ping again. So, as you can see, now the ping works because uh, it was on the wrong network and now it is. So that was uh, 10.0.2.5, which is the main Kali on the right. Um, we're gonna try to ping the one on the Cologne one, which is um, IP address is 10.0.2.25. And all the ping works right now. 
So to make the ping work from the Kali Linux and the clone Linux into Windows, we actually need to do some configuration uh, enablement for ICMP. So in your search function, we're gonna look for firewall and advanced settings, uh, advanced security. Inside there, we wanna go to inbound rules and we wanna scroll down to file printer sharing echo requests. And all you gotta do is just right click and you wanna enable the rule. And now it's green. Uh, we're able to now receive ICMP pings. So now if we try to ping the uh, Windows uh, machine, which is uh, 10.0.2.15 here, we're able to receive the ping from the clone and we're going to try the main Kali and now we can be able to receive ping on all three. So window by default turns off the ICMP ping. So now it's, once we have that completed, uh, we actually can start our MF. So I'm just going to minimize all these. Um, it's running in the background. So now all we need to do is stay with this uh, main Kali Linux and be in the terminal. All right, um, now we're in the main um, Kali terminal over here. Uh, we're just going to clear the screen to start fresh. And what we're going to do is first for MF is we're going to try and find the IP address um, for all the machines that's on the network uh, using ARP. But MF is the tool. All right, so to start looking at um, the computer that are on this network, we we'll go MAP. Uh, we're gonna go MAP uh, dash um, PR dash SN, and the whole network is 10.0.2.0 slash the 24 network. So it'll scan everything on that network and let it run to see what devices is on this specific network. As you can see, we have the one, uh, 10.021, uh, 20, and 25. If I open a new terminal here and do IPA again, this is 25, uh, 10.0.2.25, which is this one here. 20 is the 20 is the um, the other um, clone Kali and the one is actually the windows uh, no we actually didn't pick up the windows uh, the 10.2.1 here is actually the gateway um, is there's the clone and the 25 is this uh, Kali machine here um, we haven't picked up the Windows machine so I'm gonna try to see if we can just um, scan the whole thing while, without any uh, options or operators and see what comes up Okay, it looks like it came out with those. So let's see if we can specifically just scan the one for the Windows machine, which is 10.0.2.15. And it seems like uh, host seems to be down. Uh, we could try the PN and see what happens, capital P and N for that host, uh, the Windows host over here. And while that's running, if you if we just open a new window here, and if you have any questions about the operator to use, you can always just type MAP 
and these are the operators that you can use like the dash A for everything dash O N for output and uh, we are using the um, S N here uh, it does TC TCP the whole TCP actually we use um, PN Uh, we actually use the capital PN here and it treats all hosts as online and skip the host discovery and that's still running and hopefully we can find this um, Windows Server on our MAP scan but uh, all the options are here and I'll keep this in the background or uh, minimize while this scan is done. So it took a little bit of time. It took about 202 seconds to scan. Um, everything's in the ignore state, but the host is up. Uh, let's just run a MMAP um, for all, all in, within the Dash 24 network and see that will populate the Windows server. And it did not. And uh, when we did the dash uh, PN here, uh, it knows the host is up, but it's not receiving it on um, layer two uh, using ARP. Uh, Windows firewall configuration is restricting uh, any uh, requests to come back to knowledge that is up. That's why it's saying ignore state. So now uh, let's see if we can um, try. 